Hi, my name is Nick, and today we are going to talk about Microsoft Power Automate and how you can easily automate adding SharePoint files uh, into your Microsoft Planner tasks. This is actually a pretty simple and easy um, to do process. Um, so if you do find it useful, then you guys know what to do. Uh, and with that said, um, let's jump on over to the desktop. Okay, so here we are. Um, I've just gone over to office.com. Um, from here, what we're going to do is actually just navigate down uh, and find Power Automate. Um, from here, um, you can open this up. If you do not see this in your app bar, then you can go ahead and open this up and you should see it here. If you do not see it in this section, go to all apps uh, and then you'll be able to find it in the list just here, for example. And um, what we do is you just open that up. Uh, for me, I've opened that in a new tab uh, just here. So once you have this open, you obviously have all of your navigation down the left hand side here um, and obviously be presented with the main window here. Now, um, for me, the easiest way of doing this is to understand how, how you want to go about doing it. So I'm gonna go over to my flows, okay? Um, from here, I've already created um, a plan or a, a flow, I guess, that creates a task for a plan, right? Um, if I go into edit this, I'll show you what I mean. So this is an occurrence that happens every single Monday, okay? And it creates a very simple um, task that runs on a Monday as well, I've called it. Um, and you know, basically, okay, let me, let me break this down a little bit further. So group ID, uh, is obviously, you know, where it is. So what, what team, um, I have basically created the plan in what the plan is called, which is test list. And then the title I give this task is called runs on a Monday. Um, and it's assigned to the to do, uh, bucket. Um, I have a start time here, which is basically a UTC now. Um, and if I just close that off, um, you go into the expression section over here, scroll down until you find uh, time and date. It's UTC uh, now. And give that a click and just OK. Um, so that's the start date. So basically, when this all kicks off, uh, at this, uh, basically on a Monday morning, um, it creates the task and it starts the task um, literally at that particular point in time. Now. What I've done down here for the due date is basically added um, five days to the UTC now date. Okay, so basically five days from when this um, Microsoft Power Automate um, flow kicks off. Okay, so it adds five days um, to when this whole process starts, and that is my due date. Okay, uh, and then I assign this task to myself. Okay, so that's the basics uh, of creating a task in um, Power Automate. And I'll go through the process in a little bit more detail in uh, a video that I put out a, a couple of days ago. So do check that one out if you want to know more about how to create tasks automatically. Um, so this one is just off of a recurrence every single uh, Monday, okay? The next thing from here though, once you've created your task, is to then update the details of that task, okay? So the next thing we do here is the task ID uh, is basically the ID of the task that has been created. In order to do that, if I just take that out of the scenario here and just close that, by default, it wants to give you a task that's, um, you know, or basically wants you to update a task that already exists. Okay, um, so it's given me two tasks that exist inside the plan. However, I want to obviously reference the new task that's been created, um, which obviously will happen in the future. It hasn't happened yet. So therefore, what I want to do is actually enter a custom value. And um, by doing that custom value, you have this dynamic content box appear over here on the right hand side. Uh, and from this list, uh, you can find the ID of the task that was created. So under the um, subsection heading here, create a task, go ahead and find the ID of the task that you create. And um, by putting that into there, that is the ID of the task you created in the future. And therefore you can now start to adapt and update the details of that task. So from here, we can say that this task runs every Monday and lasts for five days. That is the description of the task that I've added. The next thing that we can do here is have these references, okay? And these references can be um, basically like URLs to files, etc., that we hold inside SharePoint. Um, so an alias could be what you would like to call it. Um, so we can say attached file here, right? And then we want the URL of the um, of the file itself, and then we can give it a description. You know, is it a Word file? Is it an Excel, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to hump back over to Microsoft um, 
Outlook here, so just sorry, Microsoft.com, sorry. Um, and obviously we can see all the different files I have, right, just inside um, SharePoint of recent files, etc. But I'm gonna go over to the app bar on the left-hand side and just go to SharePoint. Um, SharePoint will open up in a new tab here. And it's gonna show me all the different teams that I have here. I'm gonna go on to that office guy. And then I'm going to go to documents on the left hand side. I'm going to do this pretty pretty fast because I'm going to assume that if you're watching this video, you kind of know the basics at this point. Um, so right, I'm in basically that office guys uh, group. I'm in documents and here are everything that I have um, you know, in terms of files. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, go into my general channel. Uh, and from the general channel, I'm going to click on old docs. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and add um, I'm going to take the, the link, I should say, um, for this particular Excel file. So from here, I'm just going to click on the three dots, the ellipses, and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find the share, okay, or copy link. I'm going to click on share, um, and then I'm just going to copy the link from there, okay. So this is copied to my clipboard. I can close that down, and then I'm going to go back over to the flow. From here, I'm going to go and click into this box, right click, um, and paste in that link, okay? So now I have this link here um, referencing a file, okay? Uh, and then obviously from my drop down, this is an Excel file, so I'm gonna call it an Excel document. Okay, now what I can do is um, collapse that down. I obviously have the ability to send an email to say that this has been run okay. I'm gonna take that out of this scenario. I don't really need this. Um, it's either gonna be attached or it's not going to be attached and I'm gonna be able to see it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit uh, the reoccurrence here. Uh, I'm gonna basically go to the advanced options and I'm gonna say, I want this to run, um, you know, anytime. I'm not gonna be specific about it. Um, and I'm gonna want this to run every minute uh, just to make sure that this is testing out okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save on that. Um, and then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check to make sure that this is running as expected. I'm gonna just first of all hop backwards here and make sure it's turned on. Um, I did have this turned off before, but we can now see here that your flow is on, um, test planner, etc. So um, I can now see down at this bottom section, all of my flows uh, as they are going. The first one failed uh, after 12 minutes. Um, and obviously these are expected expected to run uh, within, you know, a few a few seconds at, at most. Um, so I'm just going to keep refreshing this uh, and we can see that we have already added it. It's been added there. So I'm going to hop over to um, Microsoft Teams here uh, and we're going to see what's going on. So here is the original. Um, so let me just hop back over and make sure that this is uh, doing everything that I'm expecting it to do. Um, let's see what we've got. Uh, so yeah, so it's added there. Um, it is running on a Monday. Okay, fine. So it looks like it has a fired okay. I'm just going to come out of here and go back in and make sure that that test there it is. Okay, so here is uh, the, um, the, you know, the actual uh, task that's been created. Uh, and we can see that we have the a file that I've called attached file. It's an Excel document and I can open this up um, directly here. It will then open it up into, um, you know, the specifics uh, you know, in, in the, the web browser here, just uh, as a link. Um, so by default, it's going to want to do that. It's going to open it up here. But again, we can open it in the desktop app if we choose. Um, so I can close this down and close that one down as well. We don't need those open. Uh, come out of here. Now it's run a couple of times. Um, so I'm going to turn this back off and hop back over to Microsoft Teams. Uh, and close this task. And here we can see that it is running on a schedule for me and it's attaching those Excel documents every single time. So this is a really useful feature, guys, because if you are creating reoccurring um, tasks for people to potentially update um, a specific Excel document every single week, then you could basically attach the document from SharePoint into a reoccurring task uh, in this manner. Um, and then obviously, you know, they're able to access the file, update it as needed and tick the task off as done. It saves you having to kind of search for the file and, the, uh, and you can call it anything you want here without actually changing um, the file name itself as well. So lots of different ways to, to go about using it. Now, if we go back into Power Automate, just edit this as well. Um, sometimes you might want to be dynamic about how you go and get these files. Um, so you could obviously um, add a, a task here or add a uh, an event, right? So we can add an event here. And, and this time we could actually type in SharePoint, okay? Um, and we can say we want to um, 
get files, I think is what they call it. Uh, get file, get file properties, get files. Um, so this one here, and um, this will then connect to your SharePoint and you can say, okay, find me all files in that office guy um, within the document library. And then you can obviously drill down even further. You can say a very specific folder. Um, and then, you know, from here, what you can then do is basically do a, a query to say only return things with a name of, right, or equal to a specific name or uh, anything like that and limit the amount that get returned. And then you can do some conditions as well. So you can just say, um, add a condition. If for every certain file you want to create a certain type of task, you can do that. Um, you know, you could lots of different things that you could do here um, to basically make it very, very efficient on um, you know creating multiple different tasks based on multiple different files uh, in a recurring way or a, a scheduled automated way as well. So lots of different things that you can do when it comes to um, you know adding. Uh, files into tasks and it's actually really simple all you really need is that SharePoint link uh, once you have that link you can call it whatever you need to call it uh, and reference the type as well um, so really useful way of making sure that everyone has access to everything that they need in order to get the tasks done and completed in a very efficient way um, so guys it's um, a very straightforward process hopefully this was an easy to follow tutorial and um, if it did then you know Basically, you guys know exactly what you need to do. Go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, and, you know, guys, let's definitely start playing around with it. There's not much you can go wrong uh, with Power Automate. Um, you know, as long as you're not trying to, you know, complete tasks, you can't delete them. So that's a pretty easy thing to do. You can't delete them from, from here, but you could change the progress to being 100% and therefore they get completed. Um, so you have a play, you can't really go wrong. Um, and it's really good fun to basically be able to take anything out of the SharePoint ecosystem and add it into things like, uh, you know, kind of tasks or SharePoint lists, etc. cetera. Um, and guys, um, I hope you found this useful. If you did, uh, you know what to do and I'll catch you guys in the next one.